just described is very interesting because uh, you bank for a business, but you think the price is too high. But then if the price falls, at that point, do you say it's not a good business? No. Or so, so or is there a tendency then to be, well, maybe it'll fall further, <laughs> or maybe this business is now going down? How do you overcome that? You know, those are behavioral issues. I think one of the questions is why is it falling? You know, you just have to ask, answer why. You know, is it? And if you don't know why stock's falling, then you probably don't know it well enough. Yeah. Um, I mean, if, you know, if you see a stock fall 30% whilst the market's up 10, and you can't tell me why it's down 30, I, you know, I'm not going to want to own it. Yeah, if you can say, okay, I think it's falling because of X, Y, and Z, and actually I think this is a temporary issue, yeah, that, that's when we can have uh, the confidence. Yeah, but uh, also in answer to your question, uh, I mean, one thing I was told, yeah, I remember, you know, my last time getting really upset that the stock I was looking at was up 5% and then, you know, it was up 10%. Yeah, and Patrick he just said to me and said, oh, Aubrey, do you think this stock is worth what, 500p and it's now 200 and something? Why are you getting worried about another 10%? You know, just calm down. You know, now, spend a bit more time on this and have a few late nights if you want to, but, you know, just keep calm. I think that's uh, one thing you have to... Yeah, I just always remember. I think in terms of bias, I'd rather buy some, look at something for the first time when it's not cheap. Uh, so if I look at something and know, say it's trading at $50 a share and we do the work and we think it's worth $50 a share plus or minus five, we won't buy it. But we now have a price that we can track and we can put it in our Bloomberg monitors and we can follow it over time. And then an adverse event happens and the stock goes down from 50 to 40. Now our job now is to answer one question really. Is this adverse event worth $10 a share or is it worth five or 15? Uh, and often the market, well not always, but often the market will sell it to 40 and actually now it's not worth 50, it's actually worth 45. But now there is a margin of safety where uh, you can buy it. That being said, in my experience, averaging up has always yielded better outcomes for us than averaging down. Some of the holdings that we've owned for eight, ten years, we've bought them as they've gone up and we've done much better there than trying to average down. But we are value investors, so we, we do like buying things on sale.